Camera Raw in Photoshop 2021 has a fantastic new feature that allows you to apply color grades using three color wheels. In the next five minutes, you're going to learn everything that you need to know about this amazing new color grading tool. Okay, let's jump right into the tutorial. We're gonna work with this portrait and right beneath the portrait, you'll see a gradient that goes from black to white to help you visualize how this tool works. Let's start by right clicking the layer and converting it into a smart object so that we can work non-destructively. A smart object is a container which holds one or more layers that allows you to apply editable adjustments, distortions, filters, and transformations. That means you can come back and edit them at any time. Then you can go into filter, camera raw filter. The camera raw filter will open up and we no longer have a dual toning tab in camera raw. We now have a color grading tab. When I open this up, you'll see the three way color grading wheels. We have wheels for the shadows, highlights, and midtones. Let me show you how they work. From the shadows color wheel, you can click and drag this point outward to apply the hue and saturation that you've selected onto the shadows. See how the shadows are blue? I'll do the same for the midtones, but I will make those green. So now the midtones are green and I will make the highlights yellow like so. Notice how black and white were not affected by the color grade. If you want to apply the color grade to the black pixels, then drag the luminance slider in the shadows to the right to brighten up the blacks and apply the blue color. You can do the same thing with the whites luminance slider. Just drag it to the left to darken up the whites and apply the color grade. And of course you can adjust the midtones if you like, see how I'm brightening or darkening the midtones. And obviously this is the effect that is applied onto the image. Next, let's take a look at the blending slider, which allows you to set the amount of overlap between shadows and highlights. Drag the slider to the right to maximize the overlap and drag it to the left to minimize the overlap. The balance slider balances the effects of highlights, midtones, and shadows. Values less than zero will increase the effect of the shadows and values greater than zero will increase the effect of the highlights. And just like any other slider in Camera Raw, you can double click on it to reset it back to its default settings. And you can reset the color wheels back to their default settings by double clicking on them as well. Next, let's take a look at these three icons. They represent the individual color wheels. I'll select the shadows and this color wheel works exactly the same. You can click and drag this point to adjust the hue and drag out to adjust the saturation. If you hold control on Windows, command on the Mac, you'll lock the hue so that you cannot add saturation. And virtually you can do the same thing by using the hue slider. It just allows you to control one thing at a time. You could also hold shift and click and drag so that you lock the saturation and you don't inadvertently adjust the hue or you can use the saturation slider as well. So in this case, I'm going to increase the saturation a bit and make this just a little bit bluer. And of course you can adjust the luminance. Next, I'll go into the midtones and I will drag out and add a little bit of teal and then I'll go into the highlights. And for the highlights, I'll add a little bit of orange and from the gradient, I think you'll be able to better see the color grade that I'm applying to this image. The next option is global, which applies a global color grade over the shadows, midtones, and highlights that you applied previously. For example, I can add a green tint to this image and it will apply over the previous color grade. And of course I have the same sliders and I can adjust them any way that I want. I'll double click on the color wheel to reset it. And when you're done, you can simply press okay and Photoshop will apply those adjustments. If you want to edit your smart object, you can always double click on the camera raw filter to bring that back up and make any adjustment that you need. By the way, if you found this five minute crash course useful, make sure that you hit that like button now. It really helps out the channel if you do. And if this is your first time at the Photoshop training channel, make sure that you click on that subscribe and notification button so that you don't miss any future Photoshop tutorials. My name is Jesus Ramirez. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to speaking to you again very soon.